Hey, welcome back. So, today we start a new mission. Novaria is a cool, rocky world with most of its hydrosphere locked up in massive glaciers. A privately chartered colony world, the planet is owned by the Novaria Development Corporation Holding Company. <coughs> the NDC is funded by investment capital from two dozen high technology development firms and administrated by an executive board representing their interests. The investors built remote hot labs in isolated locations across Novaria's surface. These facilities are used for research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere, as Novaria is technically not part of Citadel space and therefore exempt from Council law. By special arrangement, Citadel special tactics and reconnaissance agents have been granted extraterritorial privileges, but it remains to be seen how committed the executive board is to that principle. Given its unique situation, it is understandable that Novaria is often implicated in all manner of wild conspiracy theories. So that's where we're going today. To start a new set of missions. But first, Svarog is a small but typical hydrogen and helium gas giant whose orbit lies quite close to the star. It is unusual for a star with a close orbiting gas giant to have a habitable world. Svarog is packed as only gas giant but its temperature, powerful winds, and high orbital velocity make it a poor candidate for helium-3 mining. While Novaria enjoys plentiful deuterium for its fusion plants, it imports all of its helium-3 from out system. Morana is an icy planetoid smaller than Earth's moon. Many planetary geologists suspect it was once an Oort cloud ice dwarf, which migrated inwards after an encounter with some other body. Oort, eh. Oort. Oort cloud. While the crust is frozen water ice, deeper layers are mostly silicates, with pockets of magnesium and aluminum. Marana is tidally locked at packs. The same side always faces the sun. And finally, Velus has a thin atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Most other materials have frozen and fallen as snow. Its surface is composed of potassium with deposits of magnesium. While investigating the primitive anaerobic life of Velist, Pioneer Helix survey teams discovered a cunningly hidden anchorage of the ancient Krogan warlord Moro. Many records and artifacts of the Krogan rebellions were recovered and sold at auction. The empty base is now abandoned. Scans of the planet Velist revealed a small abandoned vessel. Your salvage team brought the ship on board and dismantled it, whereupon they discovered one of Matriarch Dilanaga's writings. I think that finishes the uh, the writings. Got uh, I think there's still a, a few left in the galaxy, but I've collected. Uh, I finished the actual quest. A very as a small frozen terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Novaria Development Corporation. Lease out labs to perform research too dangerous but controversial to be performed elsewhere. Given Novaria's unique situation, it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. Population of 361,000 people. Only found at 2163, so not that long ago. And, uh, capital of Port Honshan. Uh, side note about Novaria. The, uh, the name comes from Nova Siberia, or New Siberia. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector into berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. Friendly. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. So yeah, Novaria, Nova Siberia. I'm not sure if uh, if it's you know if that's the in-game uh, or in-universe source of its name, but uh, that's what the developers had in mind. All right, so Novaria. Liara is, for story purposes, a must-have. Uh, Rex is also a must-have for story purposes, but I will, but not right away. So I will actually come back and get Rex 
shortly. By which I mean, like, next episode. When the next episode starts, I'll have Rex in my party, but for now, they are in Tally. Equalizing into interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Just wanted to get uh, Liara's helmet off there. No sense in her having it on just now. Party. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. No. I'm I am the Mariko law. Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. Hey. You will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. micah has got nerves of steel. You know, credit to her. Like, I whip out a gun and she doesn't even blink. Kind of like, uh, no, I kind of like Liara not even bothering to pull a gun. She's, in the, she's a biotic. Guns are pointless to her. She does raise a good point, but... Let's try not to get off on the wrong foot here. Stand down. Their house, their rules. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. No. Get out of here. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Good idea. I'm very attractive. You're not so tough. I'll take you on any time. You better toe the line here. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. When I was uh, watching another Let's Player, Modern Ones, when I was watching her play through this, she found Parasini-san to be absolutely hilarious. Uh... Mother Wellens is, uh, I think, Chinese-Canadian, I believe. Um, she does also speak uh, Japanese. Um, and yeah, she just found that hilarious that she refers to her as Parasini-san. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Yeah, it's not a problem. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. Yeah, of One course. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. I'm a specter. Litigation means nothing to me. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Boom. Benezia. She is here. And now you know why Liara is pretty much a requirement from a story purpose for this mission. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Thanks. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Thanks, Gianna. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. I absolutely trust her, but 
You kind of gotta ask. We talked about her before, but things change when you're up against something. If it's her or me, who would you shoot? Jeez. Phrasing? I meant what I said before. Her actions are wrong. If you would feel safer leaving me on the Normandy, I will stay. But I would like to see her. Maybe I can persuade her to come peacefully. Worth a try. I hope so. I accept your word, Liara. Let's get going. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Like I said, it's one of those things... I trust her, but... You gotta ask. I apologize for my rudeness when you arrived. I meant no disrespect. Oh, not at all. You're I have a responsibility to protect polite. the safety and privacy of corporations here. The arrival of an Alliance warship was unexpected. Not a problem at all. No harm was done. That is a generous attitude. My thanks. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? Why are you still here? Are you guarding my ship? All of the companies have secrets. Some of them deal in things that are not quite legal. Having a specter here makes them nervous. Analea Sama is buried under petitions to kick you off world. Then you're actually protecting Normandy from the companies. Well, thank you. I am protecting them from themselves. They do not have the personnel or training to assault an Alliance frigate. Good point. I mean, they get a line, Rex comes in and just eats them all. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> you first. I'm just a security guard. I heard that there were no human specters. How did you get that job? My crew and I were involved in Saren's raid on Eden Prime. You disabled the nuke. That makes sense. Special Tactics likes people who can think on their feet. I served in the Marines for a decade, mustered out and went private sector. I was under fire a few times, so I ended up leading this detail. She heard about Eden Prime, but not about a human specter? That's weird. That's just weird. But, uh, yeah, interesting that she was in the uh, Marines. Explains the nerves of steel when I pulled a gun on her. Mike is interesting. I like Mike. She's cool. There are guards everywhere. Are there that many problems here? I am sure Parasini san gave you the ultra special blah blah about business here. <laughs> everyone wants I to like be that. protected from everyone else. But everyone also thinks they have a special right to kick over everyone else. Ultra special blah blah. <laughs> So you have to keep them from getting too eager. Most of my job is diplomacy. Two corps start yelling at each other, my people walk in, flash some ceramic, and they start talking civilly. If there is anything this job has taught me, it's how to be impartial. Interesting. Don't they have their own security forces? <sighs> Everything from hackers to mercenaries. They have investments to protect, after all. But we are the only ones allowed to bear arms. Which is why the companies constantly try to bribe my people. I have a clear policy against freelancing. Anyone who works on the side is fired. I'll good be moving on. Very good, Commander. Please stay out of trouble. Unlikely. Yeah, she's uh Maiko, she's she's a good egg. Yeah, she's working on planet Corpo. Surrounded by horrible people, but She's still Welcome to Port Henshin, okay. the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. Now, if you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. The managers warned us about you. They have a right to. I'm here to bang everyone on this planet. I can't believe the paranoids that work here. There's no accident on Peak 15. I didn't ask, but thank you. I don't understand these rumors about synthetic insights. If the office is closed, it must be for a good reason. I don't care what happened on Peak 15. We've all signed non-disclosure agreements. Pfft. 
What a corporate bootlick. I can't talk to you. It could cost me my job. Alright, fair enough. I'll leave you alone. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I mean, I'm down for it, but... I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I don't know if I believe you. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing that I'm not equipping my own enemies. Good point. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. Well, let me think about it. Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. No problem. You're just asking. You're just asking a favor. It's not. It's not. Not to upgrade. Deals license. Good damage protection, but garbage shields. Has the other reconsidered this? Of course. This one the po Here. Sure, why not? These two things. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Maybe later. Of course. Maybe. This one the I think I've already got the oh. Colossus Armor for Tally. Not too pricey. Okay. Just a little bit of an upgrade. Yeah, Colossus Armor is incredible. As you can see. It's also hard to find. Right. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. Alright, I'll help. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Uh, all right, not gonna bother just yet. Not gonna get the package just yet. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. If Sergeant Sterling catches me with you, she'll, I don't know, crush my trachea with her brain or something. She sounds pleasant. Some of the guys do side jobs for the administrator. I'll only do what Captain Matsuo says. Good idea. You know what I could go for right now? A donut. Well, now you've got me wanting a donut. I'm keeping an eye on that Krogan at the hotel. He's a mercenary. Name of Ina Morda. Come on. I could get fired for talking to you. Okay, I'll leave you alone there, buddy. 
lovely weather. Do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. The weather outside looks dreadful. Thank the goddess it's warm in here. My people have dealt with the corporations on Noveria in the past. They pay well and they don't ask any questions. That can be useful. From all I've heard, blizzards are quite common here. I also like the design, the look of the Colossus armor. The, uh, the black and red. I don't know, I just think it's, uh, it's a pretty good design. But again, it can be tough to find. Especially human light Colossus armor. How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Yeah, but who cares about those groups? Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. Wow, sounds like... I mean, how would they breach security? It's a... whole planet is a... one big icicle. I hear there was an accident on Peak 15. We're aware of the rumors. At the moment, contact with the facility is down due to weather. All employees should review their non-disclosure agreements and avoid irresponsible free talk. What kind of weather cuts modern communications? A blizzard is sweeping the Scotty Mountains right now. Between the cloud cover and heavy snow, the satellite uplinks are cut. All right. What corporations work on Peak 15? Binary Helix has leased the entire complex. So everyone shut up and keep your heads down? Loose lips sink third quarter profits. You have a more blunt way of speaking than is common here, Commander. Yes, I do. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. He sounds... He sounds like he'll be fun to talk to. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. No matter uh, whichever background you have, he comments on. So, Earthborn colonist or spacer, he'll dismiss you either way. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Yep, already a fun guy. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Yeah, so this is one way of uh, resolving the... Uh the opold smuggling option obviously i'm not going to do that that's me but uh safeguards against loss of property the lost material absolutely corporations uh would worry about lost material loss of life not so much i mean Hell, a lot of corporations in the real world don't give a damn if uh, people die as it is.
Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. All right. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. I don't Regardless, care. there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. What be. brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't... She is here on business for uh -huh. Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. It's supposed to be a uh, comment. Like, we are supposed to ask... Like, when he says executor. Like, when he... That she came in as executor. Do you do... He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of is the... Is there various... some problem on Peak 15? An area of severe weather has cut off contact. Things will return to normal in a few days. Why is Synthetic Insights closed? I have placed Laura Keane, the manager of the Hanshan office, under internal review. I cannot comment further at this time. Uh, I guess maybe the way I uh, went to bed, asking about Saren before asking about the uh, Benezia. Because uh, when I did this before, when I did this another time, uh, when he mentioned Benezia being Saren's executor, Liara asked, is what? And uh, Analyze repeated, executor. And like this really uh, condescending tone. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Jerk. Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Well, you got something to say? You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. I can bludgeon pretty hard. <laughs> Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeus. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen. Well, let me say it out very Mr. loudly. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. I can't say more with Analeus in earshot. What's that? You want me to talk to Lorik Keen? Yeah, Shepard is not... Subtlety is not Shepard's strongest point. Anyway, just gonna go back and get the, uh, the package. Not going to deliver yet, so... Yeah, there's four ways of resolving this. First, obviously, you can just bring the package to Opal. Second option is you can bring it to... Anim uh, or Getting ahead of myself, but you can bring it to uh, Analeus, in which case he actually will give you uh, a garage pass. It's the quickest and easiest way to to deal with all this, because um, it just gets you out right then and there, and uh, lets you continue on your way to to where's it. But. 
That's also the least interesting way of doing it. Anyways, let's head to the bar and talk to Keen. I said, no, the, uh, the welcome to Port Hanchan guy. This is the same dude who does the, uh, the elevator announcements, elevator news reports on the Citadel. Guy's, uh, guy's got a pretty good career going, clearly. I like how it sounds like there's people talking. You're the Spectre, right? Um, management told us not to talk to you. Aww. They say there hasn't been an accident on Peak 15, but everyone knows. Something weird is going on at the Synthetic Insights office. The administrator shut him down. Curious. Peak 15 has a bio and cyber hazards lab. If there's a problem, they should nuke it before it spreads. Only way to be sure. I'd love to have your job, traveling the galaxy, saving lives. That's what I wanted to do as a kid. <laughs> How'd that turn into accounting? Life. You're the, the managers warned us about you, Spectre. But you're smart enough not to listen to the managers, right? I can't believe the paranoids that work here. There's no accident on Peak 15. I don't understand these rumors about... I don't care what... I can't talk to you. It could cost me my job. Yeah, I like that woman talking about... You know, wanting to be a hero as a kid. Yeah, it's one of those things... I guess it's what happens. Don't make us regret letting you keep those guns. You will. We've got a secret weapon. Sergeant Sterling's a biotic, and not a real friendly one either. Guys, hey, I haven't come across a lot of friendly human biotics. You better toe the line with the administrator. If you don't, you might end up like Laura Keen. I don't know why you expect that to mean anything to me. There are people all over this plaza you can chat with. I'm on duty. But you're so friendly. Novaria's private property. Remember. Sufferance. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Sounds like the combat music kicking in. But there's no combat here. It's just a bar. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. All right. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Well, hello to you, too. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Yeah, just not even a hello. Uh, as dull stone, uh, the way she sounds it, it does sound like it's like some sort of fairly common insult, whether among the Asari or, yeah, you know, galaxy at large. Have to say, but it's literally the only time we actually hear somebody use that use it. Kind of shame. I like that. Uh, I like that term as an insult. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about binary helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp craft. Doesn't answer my what question. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. Okay. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. 
discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Yeah. Corporate espionage? Yeah. Interesting plan. Right. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Well, sure, why not? No reason not to do this. Screw the rich. What sort of offer did they make you? Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on the thin strip. You can mention them. Of course. Ah, oh, sure, the company takes care of its own. Full insurance, paid vacations, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. Sounds good. You hear about the resort they At the equator. Bounce backing, diving, an accredited asset you're a field. If you like that sort of thing, I'd rather admire the view. Yeah. Yeah, what a view. Anywho's. How about some corporate estimate? Oh, as an aside, you can absolutely talk about your uh, your salary with uh, your coworkers. Companies don't want you doing that uh, because uh, they want employees uh, divided. Um, they don't want they don't want uh, employees to know when they're getting ripped off. But it is absolutely a legal right to talk about your salary with uh, co-workers. Just thought I'd mention that. No, no reason. No reason for talking about that on a planet run by corporations, right? Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I was unaware of that. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. All right. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Sounds good? Maybe? I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero-based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get Not you bad. those improvements for 30k credits per head. Mm -hmm. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Sounds good. How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, a skeleton a decade. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Novaria, some not entirely. 
Yes, by all means, tell the Spectre that there's illegal shit going on. Dude, come on. If you have any tips, I'd appreciate them. It would reflect well on you and Binary Helix. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, we don't perform espionage on our competitors. That would be illegal. Of course. Sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the city. I almost feel bad about lying to him. And I head back to her in a minute. First. Don't hang up. Elder brother? It's me. I'm on Navaria now. I can't talk long. This call is costing 10 credits a minute. It's real time from the Traverse. Did you think it would be cheap? I need some information. There's an issue here with synthetic insights. The manager, Laura Keane, got caught with his toes wet. Toes wet? The Interesting. By Hanshin's administrator. Solarian I need you to race. see what you can find out about. Are you ready for his name? Ronadrill, Gan, Swa, Fulsum, Karatin, Nar, Eidi, Bella, and Elias. <laughs> no, that's the administrator. The Hanshin administrator. Well, think about it. A Turian wouldn't risk getting his office closed. They don't compromise their team. That's drilled into the boot. I think the administrator is using this keen fella to draw flies from his own clutch. Another Solarian expression? But do you think I'm likely to get any unfiltered data through Novaria's own network? That, and it would take forever for any out-system search results to get back here. Thank you, Elder Brother. I have to go. Yes. I'll speak to you soon. I like those little tidbits of uh, you know, Solarian expressions and dull stone. I like little things that are like indicating indicating sort of like the uh, other cultures, yeah. Well, damn. I had a good, bad, uh, just had a bad layout that time. And then I screwed up. Not sure if you will receive this, Doctor, but it is imperative you make your way to the safe location. Your history with our organization has been leaked. Your base on the Newton system is no longer secure. I repeat, make your way to the safe location immediately. Well, sounds like somewhere I want to go. Newton system. Curious what organization uh, Okay that What the hell just happened? What? Uh uh Okay, I don't know what happened there. But hey, I shut down the synthetic insights. So yeah, you can't actually give the package right to uh, Inamorda. Nothing. Sorry to bother you. I'm not going to. So that's option three. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. But I want in. I can't let you in. You're welcome to enjoy a drink at our cafe. But I want to go into the hotel. We limit access to protect the privacy of our customers. Skier customers, I want them. Chilly today. They should put some mirrors in orbit. Focus some sun down here to warm it up. Probably not a bad idea. I'm sorry. All right, all right. The hotel is off limits to those without. All right, let's finish up, uh, you. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. 500 credits? Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Jeez. Did I say cool. 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Man, just burn her. 
Wow. Harsh. Yeah, since you couldn't do it yourself. Damn. It's colder than the blizzard. Anyway, yeah. So the four options for dealing with the uh, smuggle. You can give package to... Uh, I've already forgotten his name. Opal. Uh, you can give it to Analeus to get out of the uh, Novaria, to get it or to get out of the uh, the port. You can give it to Anamorta to get uh, more money that you'd be able to get from uh, than you'd get from Opal. Or you can actually choose to keep it yourself, in which case Anamorta will actually later attack you. I'm going to give it to Opal once I head back there. I've never actually done the option of keeping it myself, but uh, yeah, apparently uh, Anamorta will come after you. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstripe suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. I can imagine. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. Side note, uh, if you have Kane with you, he comments on it sailing like something you'd find in an extranet fetish site and doesn't understand why people look at him funny for that. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that, I mean an investor who might sell stock if denied. True. Do you know why Benezia's here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. That would be interesting to, to read. Yeah, an alien's perspective on humanity. I'd read it. I need to get up to Peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. The administrator won't give us garage access. Not surprising. Of course, all the managers have access as well. I do, for that matter. Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly <laughs> help you with? Cute. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Yep. Definitely a coincidence. Certainly not a sign of rampant corruption. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. Hired goons? I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Sounds Why didn't Analeus cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the 
solution? Ointment. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. All right. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. All right. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? No promises. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to... I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. Are you referring to the blizzard? Of course. What else would I be referring to? Cute. I heard there was an accident. There have been unseemly rumors circulating along the lines of ancient evil and plague from distant suns. <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> Amusing, no? Someone watches too many bad horror vids. I should let you go. Let me go. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. Maybe? I mean, I don't think that's what it is, but maybe. Get a look at. Yeah. Yeah, Telly's armor likes the uh, the big centerpiece in the back. <laughs> Never noticed that. I'm guessing it's just because it's the uh, Colossus armor. I wonder if it's the same for uh, other Colossi armors. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eco's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. Presumably a Turian expression. Let me borrow yours. Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Lee here? Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Synthetics Analyze, Insights and the Matriarch came through. Synthetics. What was that about Synthetic Insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zyanalea shut down SI's offices. Quiet like. So no off-world lawyers come in on it. I like this guy's What voice. sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. Fifteen's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. Lee looks like he doesn't have uh, the facial tattoos, but uh, he does. They're just uh, on the bottom part of his face. Do you know where that matriarch is now? Grab his jaw. Her. She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Yeah. Worth keeping your eyes open on uh, Turian bases. Just to see if... Uh, just to see if you can find any of them who are... Blank. Yeah. Good old blank faces. The whole... Uh, Turian thing. I 
sometimes it's fun to just walk. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. I like How about her this? voice. You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Voice. some healing while we're here. It's not stealing when you're taking from rich people. That's just, you know, that's just science. Taking from a corporation is not theft. You would make a comment about failing to keep blood off the carpets, but this place doesn't have carpets. Like, what the hell? do without killing her, guys. No reason to shoot her. I was about to knock her out. Alright. What else can I take from this place? Stealing from a corporation is not stealing. Just remember that. Important to always remember that stealing from corporations is okay. Especially when a dude lies about having carpets. Like, come on, this is not carpet, dude. Jeez. You download the evidence from Lorg's computer. You, know, you can't actually just open fire. You can't actually shoot them from a uh, distance. You need to talk to her first. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling. Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You are here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? If you bring uh, Rex along, uh, he asks if she knows what uh, what they did to corrupt cops on his world. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Oh, 
I overheated. Whoops. Alright, obviously I'm gonna have to go down for that, dude. I don't think either of these open. Actually, I could try to get out without having to kill this person. Nope. I'm getting, I don't know that, uh, I'm not sure if I was actually doing any damage, uh, pistol whipping him while he was stasis. Anyway, unfortunately, he had to die. I gladly would have let him live, but... Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Speak plain. What's your interest? <laughs> Not here, Spectre. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. All right. Politics sounds like. Someone murdered our people in the Synthetic Insights office. Wonder who could have done that. It was me. Sergeant Sterling was killed. When we get the one responsible, we'll take turns guarding them. I did it. I killed you her. Better toe the line with the administrator. If you don't, you might end up like Laura Keen. There are people all over this plaza you can chat with. I'm on duty. Fine, fine. I'll leave you alone. I heard some of the guys were ransacking synthetic insights. Captain Matsuo didn't order that. Indeed. My sergeant was killed in the SI office. I don't know how I feel about that. She was brutal. <laughs> she was nothing. Anyway. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? I could, but you can have it. The reward sucks, are. but. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. From the deepness of light. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. <sighs> That's nothing. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. All right, all right. Have to do. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Uh, can I go talk to... Yes, I want to see if uh, Maxwell has anything to say about the fact that I just killed her sergeant. Because, I mean, I shot her all to hell. I've never actually uh, gone back and talked to her after uh, doing the Synthetic Insights office, so... Good day, Commander. I wonder, how have you been spending your time? 
You know, Spectre business. <laughs> That's a polite way to brush me off. No matter. Sorry. There was a break-in at the Synthetic Insights office. Several of my officers were killed. You wouldn't know anything, would you? That was me, actually. I see. Would you care to explain? Analeas bought them off. He had them ransacking the Synthetic Insights office for his own interests. That is all too likely. Sergeant Sterling was highly mercenary. If that is true, I bear no ill will toward you. Damn. I warned my people against taking jobs on the side. This is what comes of it. I appreciate your honesty, Commander. If you will excuse me, I must compose the letters to notify their families. Gonna... Will you leave out the fact that they were corrupt, or just say that they died in the line of duty? Yeah, I never actually talked to her. She really is good. Like, she really is, like, just too good for this planet. <laughs> you know, she's got a genuine sense of honor to her. I really like her. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. Did they warn me that I'd be shooting everywhere up? Because, uh... I heard some of the guys were ransacking synthetic insights. Captain Matsuo didn't order that. Right, right. I'm supposed to go to the hotel bar. Whoops. You're the Spectre, right? Um, management told Went a little bit the wrong way there. But it's okay. Again, you can take the evidence back to uh, Analeas, but why would you? He's a jerk. Why such aggressive music right here? I like the uh, the floor reflection reflecting the uh, the stuff around. Allow me to reintroduce myself, Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, This month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? She seems to be a fan of 20th century journalistic history. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. So he's a dick. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right, but I want information. You gave me the company line about Peak 15. What's the truth? Before the weather closed in, Hanshan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all clear. That doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. This is a and good if question. The crew never sends an all clear. The executive board votes whether or not to destroy the facility. One antimatter warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. 
All right. Not a bad plan. How can I get to Peak 15? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive up. If you get keen to testify, I'll get into the garage. Do you know why the Matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their Code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. Do you know what she had in the crates? No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. All right, all right. All right. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Before I talk to Keen, I want to talk to Ina Morda. And I don't think he's got anything new to say. Elder brother. Yeah, he's just repeating his mission. For his stuff. Beat it. Rude. I said beat it. But I want to talk. Go find something else to do, stupid mammal. Hey. If you don't stop poking me, I'll throw you off that balcony. I'd like to see you try. Beat it. Ah. That's the end of that conversation. I don't know, I, living in Canada, I'm kind of used to views like this, honestly. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, yeah. but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it? Yep. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeus' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board was already investigating Analeus. They're concerned about the worm and their own fruit. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Worm in the fruit. Never heard that expression. I wonder if that's meant to be a, uh, a quarian phrase. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe not. I have no idea. No real way of knowing. There's nothing distinctly quarian about it. Uh... So I don't know. All right. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? I took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be alright. Hey. Right. I mean, don't be rude. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. Then why this wear it? Outrage! I'll see that you never work in this sector again! Yeah, Can't yeah, get him move thing. on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain Rude. silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Like, she complains about having to wear skirts, but like, 
pantsuits aren't uncommon in business. Anyway, now that there's nobody here to watch me. Steal from the rich. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a few different ways that uh, this can go. Uh, you can... One way that uh, this can go is if you tell Analeas that uh, Gianna works for uh, Internal Affairs, then they actually end up killing each other. Anyway, one more conversation with uh, with Maiko now that that's done, and then I'll wrap up and uh, get ready for the next part of uh, of Novaria. Personally, even when I'm playing a uh, renegade, I uh, I wouldn't uh, I tend to side against Anal uh, Analyze just because he's a Commander, jerk. I'm glad you stopped to talk. I wanted to tell you how unfortunate it was that Analeas Sama was caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Rest assured, I bear you no ill will. Thank you. Unfortunate. He was a criminal, Captain. The executive board is not concerned with galactic law, Commander. That's why this planet was settled, after all. As far as they are concerned, Analeas Sama went too far. On Ovaria, you may do what you wish, so long as you do not disturb public order. I only uh, request that you limit the number of disturbances you provoke. I would consider it a favor. Uh... I don't intend to make life difficult for anyone. I appreciate that, Commander. If you will excuse me, I must file reports in this incident. Good day. Jeez, she's got a lot of reports about. I especially don't want to make life tough on her. She's... She's cool. I don't want to make life tough on her. Anyway. Like I said. Uh... Yeah, going to go pick up Rex now, and we'll continue on with the next part of Novaria. So thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.